So I don't have to go, go back every time I get a new power and all that. Oh, there's one right there, and that's convenient. I think the climb ball is right up on the pillar on the right there. On that column. Is it there? Yeah, there's it. Uh, that, that, that's the one. And to cut out backtracking, I'm gonna save state up there. So I don't have to backtrack all the time. I think there actually is nothing up there except from some uh, back to some cliff power. But let's ha have a look. Oh, good job. I want to see if there actually is something up here before I fall down again. But I think the only thing that's up here is glyph power, these two orbs there. That's pretty much it. But yeah, that's about it. I want to go to the entrance again. Good thing I can go back to the entrance that fast. The entrance is not that far away. Because most of the time it was like puzzling. Oh, my first weapon I had in this place. Let's take it with me. For nostalgia bonus. <laughs> I think there was an empire vampire right behind me, but I don't care. Now, I think there's also something we can climb in here. I think it's over there. Yeah, that big wall there. Also climb this one now. Oh, great. Just glyph power. Even though it's a lot of glyph power. Like the biggest orbs you can get. But I'm not using any glyph, so I don't need glyph power. Let's get the heck out of this place. I'm sick of these dudes here. If I encounter another enemy, I'm gonna sneak up on him. I mean, like, one of these spider enemies. And I could, because they already noticed me. Hmm, these are knocked him unconscious. So I, I guess it counts as a sneak. Because I killed him without even getting close to him. I mean, he didn't have any chance. There's also one of these um, health relics that I missed in Machia's Lair, but the thing is, to act to get it, you need to have the soul reaver. I'm not going back into the, in in the to the very core of the Machia's Lair just for that. Okay, now where the heck is that thing? I think it's over there. The ballroom that I missed. Probably by by now, thousands of people have said, "You missed a party, you idiot," stuff like that. Well, that leads back. The other one was the portal. What was I doing? That's the portal way. I think there's some uh, humans with flame flamethrowers on the way. Where are they? There they are. Now this one is just some... Um, um, arrows, arrow shooter, whatever. Okay, that's the portal. That's also good we, we are out at the portal room now, so I can, like, go to some other place pretty fast. Let's just check if we have all of them. I think the one is missing because the human fortress. But I think we can't even get that one yet because we need another power for it. Seems like we got all of them. Yeah, that's the human fortress. I think we can go there and get the poor room, but we cannot do anything much there without having the power of the next vampire. Okay, so we got everything because that one is already at the next layer. So I want to go back to the first when we came out and um, the first place we came out um, the underworld. 
with where we um, changed to the physical and material realm for the first time. Because there is something there we have to climb up to. So I'm gonna get that now. And just on the other side of this. Also, if you can swim, you can get a lot down there in the water. Because there's some ways you can go. And you can get quite a lot, a lot of stuff. But I don't have the ability to swim in water yet, so I'm not gonna. Uh, why should I go there? And I wanted to switch to the other realm, but he just ran at it. I don't know why. Okay. There we go. That's not the wall, that is the wall. There should be one of these HP artifacts up there. Yeah, there we go. A relic or an artifact, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, now to go to the next area. Mm, oh, got hit by the water. Um, you need to go back to um, to this place, to the place you fought Kane. Because that's the place to go. Might as well have a talk to Ariel. Because that's actually where you have to go now, in the throne room. Okay, we need to face, so let's do it right away. Get us a soul. You're not gonna attack me, aren't you? Told you. That's my very first weapon I actually used. And I don't know why it's lying there. I think there was a, um, an enemy there. I threw it at him. Now it's lying there. Why should I care about you? I still need to be in this round because I need to face through some more stuff. Go, take another one, and then we're at our destination. Yeah, but again, I can't hear what Ariel's saying because I don't have my sound turned on now, so it doesn't screw up the recording. I don't know why um, there's such a big difference in like if I record the game with normal audio so that I also hear it, it's like way too loud. So I have to like put it on like two notches above muted so it actually works on the finished recording. Like a corpse in a shallow grave, corruption rises to the surface. Beyond these pillars, the defiled victim mutely screams its outrage. Now basically she talks in cryptic middles, riddles, but it's not that, it's quite hard to find out actually, but she tells you where to find the glyphs if you don't have them. Now this is what we are here for. And there we go. There should be a room right somewhere near whatever. Let's take us to the next area. Yeah, there it is. Not that easy to find sometimes. I know the necro got stuck on that. Great, two ways. Why would you do that? It kills me. The decision making, I can't do it. Whatever. Where the heck is this place? Whatever it is, I don't want to jump down. Just because of that. I know there was uh, some other place up there, but I don't think that's the right way. Let's have like look through this place. Is it the same? Is it mirrored? Probably not. Yes it is. Crap. 
Well, I guess it seems like we have to jump down. Oh, that looks like a battle arena. A newbie! Look how easy he is. I don't know why he does that. Sometimes he just slashes while trying to kill him. I have no idea why. There we go. Oh, 